Aye. Aye. Mr. Kenling? Aye. Mr. Vaught? No. Ms. Meyer? No. Mr. Sanfer? No. Mr. Kenning? No. because we don't have six votes. Okay. Do we have another motion? I move the table until the January, what is it, for? 11th. January 11th meeting. Gives people opportunity to council members to research or more and give the developer an opportunity to get any other information out. Second. Yeah. The, the motion to deny a planning commission recommendation requires six votes to override the planning commission the question only got four votes so it was not did not pass statutorily the requirement to override a planning commission recommendation in favor of is six votes now we need a super majority for this thing to pass it to did pass. not pass right there was so no to motion deny, to we didn't vote to pass so i voted to the table but my actual vote my actual thing was i wanted to deny this that was what i said right so you need you six votes to deny you didn't get six votes to deny no okay that's just if you would have moved to approve it would have failed right oh, well, move to approve. Uh, Mr. Yeah. Mr. Chappy, could you cl I've already, clarify? I've already motioned to table it. Yeah, you already motioned to table it. That is full. Cool. Is there a second? It's in the packet on page 91. I'll second the table, too. It, yes, and it's in the packet on page 91, so that was clear before we ever walked into this meeting tonight. Do you, Do you want me to clarify? Well, okay. Now, at the phraseology, which was actually kind of modified a little bit by other people in this at this council changed it around to the point where now we can't do it. Uh, that's really not good. No, no one's changed anything. Any motion to deny would be to override the decision of the Planning Commission, and that takes six votes to do that. And that was in the packet this time. before we ever entered the room tonight. Yeah. yeah. Well, we can't because he's already got a motion to table it on the, on the floor at the moment. Is there a second to second. Mr. Bob's motion? So we get to go to this again. Okay, we have a motion and a second to table the item. Which means simple majority, yes? Yes. Gee, that's pretty um, great. Mr. Neighbor? No. Um, Yes, it means no. <laughs> <laughs> so, excuse me. Um, no. Mr. Flo? I vote no to table. I vote no. No. <laughs> But it's the old roll out. Mike's for this failing. Yeah. I vote yes. Mr. Sandler. I'm going to vote no, knowing that it wouldn't pass if we brought it back. Thank you. Mr. Kenny. I vote yes. Motion passes. Um, and those in How does it pass? Five motion three. fails. Thank you. Sorry, I wrote it backwards. Motion fails. Five to three. Those voting in um, opposition, Council Member Vaught, Council Member Meyer, Council Member no, Kinnick. In opposition. Uh, oppos support. In support of the vote. I'm, it's backwards. I know it's late. I'm sorry. Let's I'm make sorry. a new motion. I'd like to motion that we approve this project. Okay, we have a motion to approve. Mr. Neighbor. So you haven't been seconded, have this meeting? Oh, I'm sorry. Second. Second. All these motions. Now we can move it. Now, do you want to approve the project? 
We got it. No. Now we say that we approve the project as no. Yes, Mr. No. Jenkins made a motion to approve the project. But I, but I want to be clear, Mr. Chaffee, correct me, that it requires seven votes to pass, and in the absence of seven votes, then the only alternative left is to send it back to the Planning Commission with five votes. That's not what we were told. Mr. Neighbor. Well, it fails, but doesn't get the votes. Do you want to pass the project? No. Mr. Flom. No. Mr. Jenkins. No. Mr. Kimley. No. Mr. Vaught. Yes. <laughs> Ms. Meyer. Yes. Mr. Sandifer. Oh, there it goes. No, I'm going to go no this time. Right. Mr. Kimley. Right. Yes. Motion fails. With those in opposition, Mr. Vaught, Ms. No. Those in support. Oh, wait, wait. I'm not. Yeah. Yes, those in support, Mr. Vaught, Ms. Meyer, Mr. Kinnick. Okay, so motion fails. So we need a motion to remand. We don't, because yeah, we don't need a motion for anything. It's dead. Motion uh, remanded. The statute, Mr. Chaffee. We don't have to have a motion to go back to. gives you three items that you need to do the first go round. <coughs> Number one is to approve the rezoning. <coughs> So there is a motion and a second to remand it to the Planning Commission to look at density. Mrs. Mayor, did you vote on the last motion? No. Right, but you can in, in a tie. So if there were five people against this, you could be the sixth one if we wanted to overwrite the veto. If we wanted to override the Planning Commission suggestion, you could have been the sixth vote. That's one of our three options on the page. Yes, there was only, but there were only four votes on that motion. There were five. There were five. Four plus Mickey was five. That's why I asked if she voted. Because the motion, the motion to pass it. No, that was the motion. No. No. And it, but, but the mayor can vote if she is the last vote needed. But the motion to approve, you need seven. To approve. Can. She can, but doesn't have to. To, to that was the last motion. No. Right. Was However, if the governing body wants to override the planning commission, the mayor could be the sixth vote. And there were only four votes. There were five. No. Five. no. There were no. only five. No. Yeah, I mean, for you there? There's four Mr. here and one there. Four to four the first vote. Yeah, let me to override it. Override it. Yeah. So we, okay. Sorry. Right, the first vote was four okay. to four. All right. Okay. I would just like to say to my fellow council members, in lieu of Mr. Sandifer's last vote, if we were to vote to override again, after this current motion that's on the floor, the mayor could be the sixth vote if she decided to be the sixth vote. Okay, so the current motion is to remand it to the Planning Commission for density. And, and that is a simple majority. The mayor can be the fifth vote if she is voting with the motion to remand it. Mr. Neighbor. No. Mr. Flom. This is the Senate back for density. Two more. No. <laughs> Mr. Jenkins. No. Mr. Kimling. No. Mr. Vaught. Yes. Ms. Meyer. Yes. Mr. Sandifer. No. Ms. Uh, Mr. Kinnick. Yes. Motion <laughs> fails. Motion to override and the planning commission. In uh, opposition were Mr. 
no, those in support, gosh darn, this is backwards, were Mr. Bott, Ms. Meyer, and Mr. Kinnick. Motion to override the Planning Commission and deny rezoning. Second. But if you only needed a, super, a, a regular majority to do the last thing, we had that. Override the to the deny the Oh, to deny it. So please clarify the motion. <laughs> Option number two on page 91, the governing body may override the planning commission. I can't commission. hear my fellow council members' motion to even know what I'm voting on. Please keep down. And, you know, sticking your tongue out at me, I don't know what you think that's getting you, but it's, it's, not, it's, it's not really effective. The governing, option number two on page 91, the governing body may override the planning commission and deny the rezoning with six votes. The mayor may vote, but is not obligated. So I'm making that motion to deny the rezoning. So again, uh, an I vote is to deny the rezoning. Mr. Neighbor. Aye. Mr. Flum. Aye. Mr. Jenkins. Aye. Mr. Kimley? Aye. Mr. Vaught? No. Oh, wait, I wrote these backwards again. Ms. Meyer? No. Mr. Sandifer? Aye. No. No. 5 3, motion fails. There it doesn't vote, huh? Okay. Yeah. I'll make another motion and mand it back to the Planning Commission for review of the density. Mr. Flum? No. Mr. Jenkins? No. Mr. Kemling? No. Mr. Vaught? Yes. Ms. Meyer? Yes. Mr. Sandifer? Mr. Kinnick? Yes. 4 4. It'll go now because you, you don't have to have a super majority. But it's but right now it's tied. So she can break the tie. Yep, it's up to Michelle. She can vote this time. She has to vote this time. Okay. A lot of people. <laughs> yeah. Well, and yeah, I mean, we have to comply with the state statute, so I'm going to vote aye. Motion passes. Michelle. Michelle. The next item on the agenda, item number two, is to consider an ordinance to amend the zoning regulations to provide further clarity regarding building.